Hey, what's up? This is Reed. If you've looked into getting robot vacuums, you've probably come across Roborock, who makes very good options. I've been using the Roborock S5 for a little over a year now, and we named it Mr. Robot. And it's one of my family's favorite pieces of smart home tech because it does an amazing job at cleaning the house. I just got the new S6 Pure, and I think it'll be a really good robot vacuum for a lot of people, mainly because it has a lot of the new features like being able to map multiple levels, and it costs less than the S6. However, it gets confusing because there's four Roborock vacuums that are all pretty similar. There's the S6, the S5 Max, the S6 Pure, and the S5. I know it's a mess, but if you're interested in the Roborock vacuums, I'll tell you the differences that you would need to know before buying, and I'll explain it throughout this video. But I think the S6 Pure is going to be the sweet spot between price and features. And one of those features is being able to map multiple levels. The S6 Pure uses LiDAR with a little laser on top to map out the floor plan of your home. And this works really well. I 100% recommend a vacuum that maps out your home. It's way more efficient at cleaning and it's less likely to get stuck. One of the things people wanted on the S5 was being able to map multiple levels. That way you don't have to buy more than one vacuum. The S6 Pure can do this, but it was slightly confusing at first. But once I figured it out, it was really easy. So let me save you the headaches that I went through. When setting it up, you have two options, the Mi Home app or the Roborock app. But don't use the Mi Home app, use the Roborock app. The firmware update for multi-level mapping only showed up in the Roborock app. I updated the firmware and I was really excited to try it out. And then I looked through the app and I couldn't figure out where to do it. Online, Roborock makes it seem like it just automatically creates a new level in the map but it doesn't unless you first activate it in the app, which I finally figured out. It was in the map settings on the main page under edit map. And on that screen, you can enable multi-floor mapping. I only have a one story house. So to test this, I moved the robot vacuum to a bedroom that it hadn't mapped yet to simulate another level. When creating the new level, the app says to move the dock to the new level as well. And I think that's a little inconvenient, so I created the new map without moving the dock just to see if it would work, and it worked fine. After it was done cleaning and mapping, the vacuum just went back to the spot where it started to clean. And it's probably ideal to move the dock for another level, but if you don't, it will still work without it. I created no-go zones on the second map, and everything worked as expected. One of the new features of the S6 Pure is the 32-bit quad-core processor inside, which is supposed to help it clean more efficiently. I ran both the S6 Pure and the S5 in the same area to see if the new processor could help it be faster and more efficient. And it did clean the area a little bit faster, but not by much. The S5 is pretty efficient to begin with, so it's just a slight improvement on an already great vacuum. The S6 Pure is very powerful, just like the other Roborock vacuums in this price range. And there's four modes. There's quiet, balance, turbo, and max. And the S6 Pure is slightly more quiet than the S5. I typically use turbo mode and normally it has enough juice to finish cleaning our 2200 square foot house on one charge, but if it does run out of battery before it's done cleaning, then it will return to the dock and charge up just enough to finish cleaning. This is one of the differences between the S6 and the S6 Pure. The S6 can recharge a little bit faster from zero to full in about three to four hours, where the S6 Pure takes about four to five hours, and to me, an extra hour of charging isn't really that big of a deal. The side brush is slightly different than the S5. On the newer Roborock vacuums, including the S6 Pure, it's made out of pure rubber, so it's slightly more stiff. If you don't like it, you can get the S5 replacement side brush since they are interchangeable. The other difference with the S6 Pure is that the water tank for mopping is slightly bigger than the S5 or the S6. There's also this little switch that changes the water flow and maybe it lets in more air. But honestly, I don't know how this little switch changes anything. What does this thing even do? Mopping is probably the biggest difference between the S6 Pure, the S5 Max, and the S6. The S5 Max has the biggest tank out of the bunch at 290 milliliters. You can also change the water flow on the S5 Max from the app, which is pretty cool. 
the S6 and the S5 Max also have no-go mop zones. So when you attach the mop, it automatically knows where not to mop that you've set in the app, like carpet. The S6 Pure does not have these no mop zones. However, there is a workaround. You can create another map level and create a bunch of no-go zones where there's carpet, and you can use that for just mopping. So when it's time to mop, you just switch to that map and you're good to go. You can also just select which rooms or zones to clean while it's mopping, so it's really not that big of a deal. Because the S6 Pure has a slightly larger water tank, the dustbin is barely smaller than the S5 and the S6. The difference is almost insignificant though. The S6 Pure has many of the same great features as other Roborocks. It can sense when it's on carpet and turn up to max power to clean the carpets better. The side brush will spin up faster when it's against the wall and it will slow down when it's out in the open. That way it doesn't fling things in areas where it's already cleaned. You can use the app to remote control it and spot clean an area. The vacuum can be scheduled with a specific cleaning mode selected. You can also start and stop it with Alexa or Google Assistant. You can also use Alexa routines, which is very convenient. There's also a few more features that have been added to the S5 recently as well. You can divide the map up into rooms and select which rooms you want it to clean or select a point on the map and have the vacuum go there. As you can see, there isn't much of a difference between the S6 and the S6 Pure. If you can live without no mop zones and a slightly slower charger, then you might as well save $100. And that's why I think the S6 Pure is a sweet spot for a lot of people. The S5 is also a great option, especially if you live on a single story. I get emails all the time from other companies wanting me to cover their robot vacuums, and I have to turn them down because Roborock is just that good. If you want to compare these vacuums more, then check out Roborock's comparison table that I'll link down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. We have a Mr. Robot, and we have a Mrs. Robot, and they need to get married.